Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Benelock Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation, where today we're talking about making today a masterpiece. And so I've got a new book coming out here in a couple of weeks called Make Today a Masterpiece, How to Walk in the Fullness of the Day the Lord Has Made. And just thinking about this book and the impact that we want it to make, making today a masterpiece, it's not about us making a masterpiece from our own strength, from our own effort, us doing better. It's taking a different approach. It's learning how to rely and trust in God's grace, his power, his spirit, his righteousness, all these good things that he put within us in Christ. Learning how to tap into that flow, to dig into these, to redig these ancient wells of living water that he put within us and to see them flowing in our lives. Now, we, we got three main habits that we talk about in the book. But before we get into those main habits, we talk about that God wants to make us his masterpiece. Ephesians 2, 10 in the New Living Translation says, we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. To make today a masterpiece, it's about stepping into the plan that God wrote for our lives. He's already got a plan for today. Now, I know I know some people might not believe that. That God would take the time to write out a plan for your day. They might not believe that, you know, he's got a plan for you, but we can step into that plan by faith. Is what I believe. I know that's not for everybody. But I believe he wrote a book about our life. He's got a plan for today, for some amazing things, some amazing opportunities today. And we don't make today a masterpiece by, by trying harder and efforting and doing more of the things that aren't working already. It's doing it by his grace, learning how to rest and to trust in him. And we talk about the table turner or the most important thing, the thing that turns the tables to help us make today a masterpiece is the confident expectation of good. But we go into the day believing, trusting, confident in God. He's got the plan for the day. He's got some good things prepared. And not only that, he's got the grace and the power and the supply to help us make it happen. Because let's face it, in our own strength, life puts all these demands on us. And we don't have enough supply within ourselves to meet all the demands that come at us. But we can look to his supply, which is unlimited and inexhaustible. So we're going to take communion over this today. For me personally, that, that this book would get out there, it would have just an impact on people's lives all over the world. It would make a difference in how people go about their day. Because our whole program, the Abundant Life Blueprint, it started for me with Proverbs 13, 22. It says, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. And that verse got me started writing books, making courses, shooting videos for lessons that I wanted to pass on to future generations. And one of the most important lessons I want to pass on is just that today is a gift. There's so much opportunity. There's so much treasure. There's so much value hidden in today. But I think we often miss it. We often overlook it. We just go through the motions of the day when this is the day that the Lord has made. We can walk in the fullness of that good plan that he wrote about for us. Now, I get it. This is not for everybody. But if you're looking to do things a different way, you're looking to get the most out of life, to walk with God in a, in a closer way, I think this book will make a big difference. Let's get started with our daily prayer, and then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear Son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, he was bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. 
And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us. And the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us. And the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. And every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us, let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us, that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And I ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I forgot to tell you what the three habits were. Number one is the daily prayer that we just prayed. That prayer is so powerful. Something I pray every day for myself, my family, all those connected to me. And then our second habit is daily communion meditations. To meditate on these promises, to magnify them, to make them bigger in our lives, and to activate them when we set them in motion. Giving an example of it today, we're going to set this book in motion right now. They would start right now, making a difference in people's lives today. And then our third one is daily exercising our faith. Physical exercise is meant to be kind of like a parable that teaches us how to exercise our faith, to walk in this good plan. And we talk about the principles for that. But it takes doing it a different way because the world has taught us a way of health and fitness that's not God's way. And so, Father, I thank you for this bread. And then on the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. We get this opportunity to remember, Father, you laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes, you've been healed. And so, Father, I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. And so I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right. And one of the ways we're launching this book is we're doing a live challenge, a live training. October 25th, 2023 will be the first one. I think we're going to do some other ones after that. You want to learn more about that challenge, you go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.